Hi right, guys, Martin back, another sunny day, another haircut, another Thursday. Um, and yeah, I, I printed out, I was really good, I printed out the, um, the things for, for the Q&A. And this is the third time we're trying to do it, so I'm not even going to try and read them out now because I've nearly crashed twice, and let's be honest, that's not good for anyone um, other than the Undertaker. Um, let's just move them along. Um, so I'm going to have to do a separate video for them, um, after all the, the forgetting, I can't bloody do it anyway. Um, so yeah, it's... Um, it's Thursday, it's ridiculously sunny, ridiculously warm. I apologise about last week, um, there seemed to be a lot of wind noise. No, my window was not open. Um, I can only presume that where my phone's mounted here um, is, is in one of my air vents, and I must have had the air vents co coming at, at face, if you know what I mean. Um, and it must have been blown across the speaker, so I've made sure that's not happened today. Hopefully, hopefully it's all good. Um, I don't wear a microphone for these or anything, so obviously the, the sound's not perfect. Um, but it's the first time I've had any complaints. Um, anyway, moving on. Um, first thing I want to I want to do is I want to ask a huge favour of everybody that watches these videos. Um, we've almost hit 1,500 subscribers, which is great. Um, and I know 1,500 of you don't watch the video, um, but those that do. Can you please check the link out below and go to a channel um, called TNG Productions? Um, it's a couple who come into the store, Tom and Georgie, uh, and they currently are doing videos um, on Guildball, the the football game set, set in the fantasy world, and it's a warm up to what they're going to be doing then for Batman. They've just hit 100 subscribers. Um, it's it's very well put across um, and, and there's just good content on there it, it's if you've got any interest in Guild Ball you should just subscribe to them anyway if you haven't then just subscribe to them because I've asked you to uh, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to somebody and you never know you, you might end up watching a video or two or listening to a video or two and um, you might end up finding that you're interested in Guild Ball or Batman when they do it or whatever comes through um, but the good friends of the store um, good friends of mine and, and yeah let's show them some support I've been promising to do this for ages and I keep forgetting so T and G productions link is below um, go and sub to them let's let's take them from 100 to 500 um, to do it you never know they might even do a competition um, and if you like the games that they're, they're talking about come to me and buy them hey. um, <laughs> Gotta be something for me, innit? Um, but anyway, that's that done. Um, I said I'd do it. And hi Tom, hi Georgie. Um, Georgie doesn't like clowns, um, and her name's Georgie. And the, the, there's the film It, where hey Georgie, there's lots of balloons down here. <laughs> um, so yeah, <laughs> it's a thing. Um, anyway, moving on. So we had the Troll Trader event, and and it went. Um, it, it went off. Um, was it as successful as it could have been? Absolutely not. Was it advertised as well as we could have advertised it? Absolutely not. Um, did it happen and, and was it good for us as a store? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, we had 51, I think it was, or 53, I forget now, um, for Modern um, on the Saturday. Um, we fired the Legacy event just. Um, there were no side events. And then on the Sunday, we only had 18 for the sealed event. But to be fair, it was Father's Day on the Sunday. The WMCQs were on on the Sunday. I'd had my big rant on Facebook and YouTube, which will have alienated a certain amount of people. Um, and that's fine, because as I've already said, I don't want those people anyway. Um, but yeah, it ran well. And right the way up till about two weeks before, we were unsure whether we were going to cancel it and postpone it because of the dates and the clashes. And then we just thought, you know what, then, fine, it's going to happen. And it was all right. Troll Trader didn't lose any money. Um, we didn't make any money out of the events, but we didn't lose any. Um, what did happen is a lot of people brought Warhammer um, stuff in and sold lots of Warhammer. And I offered an extra 10% um, to, to whatever the value that the Troll Trader offered you. I added 10% to it if you took money as store credit. Um, which obviously guaranteed the sales going through my store then. Um, arguably, 
a lot of it would have come back through the store anyway, but it just guaranteed, and it was me giving something back to, to my local community, so. So yeah, it was all good. Um, we had a really good weekend as a result of it. It's, it's, the tables are all done and set up. I'm actually, either this afternoon or tomorrow, gonna to record um, a tournament room showcase now. Um, the rooms aren't 100% finished, as in, there's, there's extra plug sockets to be put in and there's, the pictures aren't all on the wall but the tables and chairs are in we've laid a load of terrain out um, that we've already got so that we know how many mats I need to order um, and how many I said order then it sounded like hold up how many mats I need to hold up um, yeah it's sunny I'm going on <laughs> Yeah, we know how many mats we need, we know what we need to build this weekend at the train weekend. But I'm going to do this video anyway so that you can see the tournament halls set out for both Magic, um, well, card games in general, and also set out for um, tournament space and, and so on and so forth. Um, so expect that one to come along with the Q&A video that will come. I'll just, it'll only be a quick video, the Q&A one, hopefully. Um, I just need to address it, obviously. Um, but yeah, the tables are all in, the chairs are all in, which is good. Um, I went and got them last week, as I said on the, the car cast last week, I was going to get them to pick them up. Um, England didn't get beat, they drew. Um, oh no, they won, didn't they? Did they win? Yeah, they won, didn't they? Um, yeah, storage, like, fluke goal. Um, no, it wasn't a fluke goal, so it, it was a moment of brilliance. But, um, it's only one. But anyway, I'm not talking about football. Um, that's that. The terrain weekend is this weekend. So we've got a big huge pod of tables together downstairs. I'm just gonna put lots of terrain out. I don't think there's gonna be any painting going on for the terrain. Um, just because if, you go, if you're going to paint terrain, you need to paint a table's worth of terrain so that it all matches. Kind of makes sense. So what I can't have is people coming in, painting one building and then leaving because it, it, it'll all look too mismatched but there's a load of stuff needs building there's a load of stuff needs repairing so that's all going to be out and, and, and ready for you um, so anyone can get in any point over the weekend I um, suppose any point from from this afternoon onwards really um, definitely tomorrow um, the kits are all just going to be there ready to start building up there'll, there'll be glue available there'll be clippers and files and, and what have you and come and help us out we, 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 we need it some more terrain um, so it should be a good weekend bring the community together a bit and then uh, we can crack on it's going to be predominantly 40k terrain that we're making because obviously we've got the big 40k event coming up the ITC Northwest Open um, I think we've now hit 30 tickets um, I think we we're close to it last week and it slowed down a bit this week but I think we've now hit it um, and, and that, that's enough I, I'd love more um, I've said and, and I will keep saying, don't look at it as a tournament and all we have to be all competitive and um, super strong lists and everything. Just come and have a weekend of fun. Just come and, the, the Geeks 40k lads are coming up, um, Rich and Robin are coming up. And, and you know what, they've never been to a tournament before. Um, I played against them at Warhammer Mania last year um, and through some bad luck. I'll never ever forget the three ones on the. the Wolf Lord on Thunderwolf. Um, <laughs> that was just hilarious. Um, but through a bit of bad luck on their behalf and, and some really good luck on my behalf, um, it, it, it was a very one-sided battle. But they're still coming up to a tournament. They don't do tournament play. It's not their style of thing. But you know what? They're coming up to have a weekend of fun. Uh, and they're getting five games minimum in. If you come up on the Friday uh, and then you get access to all those tables for free, there's no charge or anything for the tables on the Friday night pre-register, have some beers, have, have some food and then and just play some games and just just have a good crack for a weekend. It's, it's, accommodations is cheap apparently. Uh, a lot of the guys are staying in the, the Scares Brick or Scarrows Brick, however you pronounce it. And apparently that, that's as cheap as £27 a night. And that's not bad going, to be fair. It's not the greatest place in the world, but it's a bed. There's a bar underneath it, which is a cocktail bar. It's a loud, loud cocktail bar. So as long as you're not on the first floor, you'll be all right, then the noise won't travel too much. And if you've had a drink or two anyway, then it doesn't matter. Um, 
it's cheap and cheerful. There's expensive hotels, there's there's the Ramada, there's the Vincent, and you, you're talking more 150, 250 quid a night if you want to spend it in there for a suite. Um, and there's loads of B&Bs. It's summer, guys, just have some fun at an event um, but anyway yeah that's what what the terrain building is primarily for if it goes well we'll probably have another terrain building weekend um, further down the line where we'll build up some Malifaux and bolt action and Batman terrain so that we've got enough to run tournaments for each of them uh, that, that's a good idea I think uh, website still two weeks away um, I'll be honest it's it's my fault this week um, guy doing the website has been in touch with me and I've just had that much on with getting things sorted for the magic events that I, I literally couldn't spare the time to, to go and do the bits. Hopefully that's not going to have a knock-on effect and all of a sudden I'm, I'm, I'm at month's wait again. Um, but again, one of my jobs today, tomorrow, is to, to sort out all of the payment sides of things. So the import's done. Um, we've just got to get all the payment profiles up so that we can take your card payments and your PayPal payments. But I've got to speak to my payment company, um, card payment company, and I don't really know what I'm speaking to them about, but hey-ho, um, there's a list of instructions and we'll, we'll figure it out shortly. Um, just going to ask. Um, but yeah, so that, that, that's, that's the website anyway. It's, Backside, but tournament halls are say all chairs are in, all tables are in. Um, there's a bit more happening downstairs. We've made a decision downstairs as well that we're gonna. There's no identity to downstairs. I think that that's that that's the key word. Uh, and it was Dave and Jamie uh, had been having a bit of a chat. I think Jay was probably involved as well. Um, whilst I was away at the stag do, um, they, they had a bit of a chat uh, about how we can encourage. Wargaming in store because we've got loads of card players, but we're called war games and we don't do any war games. I think I said about it in last week's video. Um, so how do we encourage more? We need to do more demos. We need to blah 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 blah. It, it's all simple things that we need to do. But when we were looking at it, I said, well, there's, there's just no identity to areas of the store. There's tables scattered around and because it's such a big store and. Really, like I mean, you've seen videos, you've seen photos. It doesn't. Everybody that comes in goes, "Wow, it doesn't look this big on the video." It, it's huge. I really can't express just how big it is. Um, but what we've done anyway is we pulled four tables together into an octagon at the front. Uh, well, they will be cut into an octagon, and that's going to be a demo base. So it'll have eight demo games running off this this octagon of tables. Um, with another table dedicated to um, painting demonstration. So when people are coming in, the only way to create a community is to grow a community and recruit it. The way to recruit it is to show people things. Um, so when you come in, we've got all the miniatures there ready um, to, to paint your first miniature for free. But it's really awkward for us to, to show how to do that because the hobby area is towards, the, well, it is at the back of the shop. It's far too far away from the front of the shop where the till area is. So trying to, to manage it, in all honesty, we probably just don't do it because we think, oh, I don't want to be all the way up there with a customer when I need to be back down this end. So we don't, we don't do those things. And because there's not a specific demo area, it's people are looking at tables and we we're not asking them ultimately we're not asking people um, and, and that's a failing on our behalf we don't want to be games workshop we don't want to be turning around and saying all right well you need to play this and then you need to buy this and you need to have you got paint with that and you need glue with that we need to be ramming it down people's throats and jumping on them the second they come in but if there is a table with eight games all set up with simple little two foot by two foot tiles on set out for demos people are more likely to ask questions if somebody does ask a question about anything in the store we can say all right well do you want a game and we'll have all the games set up for 15 minute demonstrations if somebody plays a 15 minute demo of Malifaux and then they go I really really like the mechanics to that it looks quite good and it's just one model versus one model not a starter set just model v model showing the basic mechanic of the game if people like that 
and they say, well, how, how do I learn more about it? We can then book them in for a full introductory game, which that might be 45 minutes, might be an hour, depending on the game. Um, but then they go and play on the big full table with a full crew, and, and when I say full crew, I mean like the starter set crew. But they explore the game more, and then they'll, they'll start getting more into it from that. But that first demo, that first taste, should just be short, sharp, and sweet. So we, we made this demo pod area, um, or we're making it, we're using it for terrain weekend this weekend, and then we'll make it all nice and fancy the week after. Um, but but I, I think I think it needs it, it needs that identity. So it's the demo club, um, and it's right by the till as well, so we can be jumping to and from it um, between us. Um, we're at the point now where there's always two staff members in the shop. Well, in the first hour when we open, um, I normally open for the first hour on my own, although Dave's quite often there. Um, and of an evening, I'm, I'm quite often down to one member of staff of an evening, but an evening's not when people are coming in for demos, people are coming in as players of an evening. And if they do want a demo, then there's normally enough other customers around to help out with that situation. So that's it, we need to grow club nights. Um, Say, say club nights, they're not club nights, we need to just grow the gaming nights, um, we need more people coming in and playing games, and the demos will help with that. Um, I, I understand and I fully accept that people have re real world, real life commitments, and you might only be able to get one night away from the family a week or from work or whatever it is, and you've got to decide which game you want to play, so you might want to come in and do Guild Ball on Mondays and Malifaux on Tuesdays and X-Wing on Wednesdays and 40k or Bolt Action on Thursdays but you can only do one of them so people do whatever their time allows them to do if we get a big enough community for each of them they should all just sort of balance in and around each other um, but yeah so let, let, let's if there's any ideas for how to grow that throw them at me and then I suppose finally you'll see more of this after the, the ITC weekend I got my hobby back on this week. People passed comment that it was good to see me building models. Um, I had to build bloody drop pods, um, but people said that it was good to see me building models, and and it was. It was actually good. I sat there, I built some more bikes because I haven't got enough. Um, in all the bikes I've got, I didn't have any scouts um, on bikes, so I've had to build some scout bikes. I've had to build a drop pod, um, and I, I'm obviously I guess from that I'm taken to the ITC tournament. I'm playing in it, um, I bought my ticket, um, and I genuinely haven't put money in the till for the ticket, um, ironically. <laughs> um, but yeah, I put my ticket in, um, so that it shows against the event, and, and I'm building my white scar list, and I'm trying to make it still fluffy, but competitive as well, because um, I'm a competitive player, but the theme's more important to me, um, which means I've got to do a bit more painting. But it was nice. It was nice to. It was nice that people passed comments that I was doing a hobby, and it just felt nice as well to be doing it. Because my motivation is waning because of my, my fatigue so so high at the moment. I literally am constantly knackered, and as a result, trying to be get motivated about building and painting white scars, there just always seems something more important to do. I've also opened a copy of um, Legendary Encounters: Aliens. Um, Opened it up, sleeved it all up, 600 bloody cards. Um, sleeved it all up, so it's it because it's a store copy, and if they're in sleeves, less likely to get battered. But now I need to learn to play it. Um, it looks good. I love the Alien franchise um, of the movies, and I want to play it. I want to start playing games. I need to, um, otherwise the business will take me over. So who knows? There might be a video on that in the future. Um, I just need to learn the game. But yeah, I'm going to cut it there, guys. We're, we're just about to hit 20 minutes, uh, which is about right. And, and yeah, I'll enjoy the sun. Hopefully the sound's better on this one. Um, any suggestions or ideas, as always, just hit them through to me. Um, and, and don't forget, go and subscribe to TNG Productions. Um, I'd love to double their subscriptions as a result of this video. It'd be fantastic. So, see you later, guys.